unworthy. We weren't looking to be heroes or captains of the day. We just went down to the creek to gauge how high the water was so we knew whether if his house was going to flood or not. And then when we went down there, and that's when we seen the people stranded. So we were just, oh, well, let's help these couple people out help of their one. cars. And, there's another one. Help that and then, one. And then we noticed. Unfold in front of our eyes, up, the guy drives right into the water. And I mean, it was, it, we knew right away he was in danger. I mean, it wasn't going to be pretty. Everybody was hollering about, well, we call 911. And it was like, we don't have time for that. We don't have time to call 911. We got to get this guy now because it's his car is going to go under. It's going to go under that bridge. And then. In the city, I'm sure. I that couldn't means. even think. I couldn't imagine sitting there just watching that guy it was, down that way. It was a guy in the back car, and I had to hurry up and run to the truck to get something to break the window. And I'm in a, I'm in a panic, really. I was in a panic and Both trying were. to rifle through the truck. And then I remember, oh, man, the toolboxes. I got my hitches in there. So that's when I grab the hitch lock and run back and then hand it to Ryan, and he breaks the back window. And we're trying to talk the guy out. But he ain't having it. He ain't hearing it. He ain't not coming out. So that's when I jump on the roof and break the back window. And I'm telling the guy, hey, buddy, look, you know, we need to get you out of here. I need to get you out of this car. And he just going on about, you know, uh, I don't want to be cut. I don't want to be cut by the glass. And that. So, you know, as soon as he said, you know, I don't want to scratch my, you know, I don't want to get cut or what have you. Uh, I just took my hand because there was shards all over the top and I grabbed it and I whoosh, just cleared the top so his head, I need to get my window, I didn't want him to scratch his head, I just wanted him to get out of the car. I said, buddy, I said, look, you got two choices here. You either going to get cut getting out this window or you're going to die, you're going to drown. I mean, that's all there is to it. I, we have to get you out of this car. Time was of the essence. I said, you know, hold him out, you know, we got him out on the trunk and then got hurry up and grabbed onto the railing. And as soon as we stepped off, the car literally went face, uh, nose down, and then it had spun. And when it went down and spun, the uh, back tire on the pass, be the back tire on the driver's side, had spun, and it pinned us both against the railing because yeah. the car went down. At that moment, when I was, I was like, "Oh my God, what, what you know, what's going to happen to us?" Yeah, you know, I was like. I said, we're gonna be able to push this car off us. You know, that's at that moment I was that was only the scared part. I, I was pretty much well out of energy at that point, hold, you know, holding that guy up, fighting the currents, you know, doing everything we were doing, you know. And he looked at me and he knew it and so it, that's what he's saying. He started to go, he grabbed that uh was it the ratchet the, strap. Uh, big long ratchet, ratchet strap. Ratchet strap. And was trying to hurry up and get back. And I he tied kept, it around yeah. the old guy, tied him in a knot, and then uh, rammed it around him and tied him in a knot. And then it was hooked around the pole, and then we used that to uh, pull them guys over yeah. safely. Like, one thing that struck me from your daughter's video is that she's obviously in hysterics, uh, afraid of for everybody's safety. But there's one thing that she said towards the end was, my dad's a hero. Mm -hmm. How does that make you feel? Makes me feel pretty pretty sad and good yeah my father passed away on Labor Day and this was my first Father's Day without him and then yesterday wasn't my dad's birthday so it was very difficult for me this weekend for Father's Day that I have three kids to celebrate that Father's Day without my dad and then to have the very next day his birthday and I had went to the cemetery and seen my dad and it had started raining. And I told my dad, I said, you know, nothing's gonna stop me from coming and singing happy birthday to you, dad. So I sang happy birthday to him on Facebook Live and was recording all the rain and everything and I was drenched, soaking wet. But I said, nothing was gonna stop me. And my daughter was scared because she, I had already lost her grandpa and didn't want to lose her dad. And I, you know, I always tell my wife and kids that you ain't never got to worry. Dad's coming home at the end of the day. Well, there's Ryan. How's it going? Boss, I'm glad you said that. Oh, I'm, I, I'm glad you took two. I'm glad. Yeah, I'm glad you're on. Oh, man. You know, you know what I think about, though, is what Ryan was.